thing about you know her sexual. So it's adventures. news because news is Can doing you it. you stop for a minute? <laughs> no, I'm pointing okay. out your logic. I'll tell you what, you do the whole damn show. <laughs> okay, so it it Lighten seems up. to me like we have a situation where you have somebody come out and do this unprecedented act. And then you have a situation where she seems to be telling the truth. And I think there was lots of question, is this woman a truth teller or is she simply self-aggrandizing or taking advantage of this moment? All she is is a stripper or whatever. And, you know, this, he's the president now, so she's trying to make something of it. But you notice that Trump hasn't said much about it. Uh, and even today, when I was looking at it, I thought to myself, wait a minute, she's only one of three. Because you, then you've got the Karen McDougal, you've got Summer Zervos. And now, in the Summer Zerpos case, the judge has allowed that charge to go forward, and potentially the, the president will have to be deposed, and uh, that will put him on the record. Again, this is tremendous danger in terms of his political stability, and I think that's where this is going. The other point is, if she's telling the truth about the payments and being threatened, well, then you have a, potentially a Federal Election Commission violation in terms of you know contribution to a campaign, because it was done to advance President Trump's campaign at a critical moment just before the 2016 election. Mr. Williams, can I respond now to you? You can respond, but I, just, I get tired of you interrupting because oh, I don't do it Juan, to you. Juan, you are the king of interrupters. Oh, stop. Uh, imagine, imagine if the press liked Donald Trump. They would say, this is just sex. If you remember the argument, this is just sex. And they would also impugn our country and they say that, gee whiz, our puritanical values are being laughed at by the progressive Europeans who understand that our world leaders have affairs. But somehow that goes out the window now. 60 Minutes is now the puritanical American program. Mm -hmm. I would say about this uh, lawyer, I think his name is um, Avenetti, and he's worked for about 150 Democratic political campaigns for Joe Biden, for Rahm Emanuel. Uh, he's sued Trump before. He sued The Apprentice. He sued Mark Burnett, and he's a Democratic donor. So a lot of this has to be viewed in the political context, and he's teasing this information that's going to be coming out. I mean, if you're going to bring out the information, why not put it out on 60 Minutes when the whole country's watching? So I don't know exactly what he has. It could be that he has nothing. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, the, the whole Stormy Daniels thing, a lot of these people think on the right that this is like the new Russia thing. You know, first it's Russia, then he's racist, then he, he's a traitor, then he's mentally ill, and now he's this, you know, lying cheater. You know, after a while, the country looks and says, you know, show us the proof. Show us, show us, you know, show us something that we can sink our teeth into. And if not, just leave the guy alone. Well, I don't think there's much doubt about what she's saying at this point. I, I mean... If you guys are making the case that we should not be so upset because, gosh, they had sex once. What's the big deal? It wasn't an extended. Well, the other woman says they had a several months affair. But, but I don't get it. But to my mind, the trouble and the issue here is does it move the political needle, the base? And you're saying it doesn't move the base because everybody just sees Trump as under siege and therefore don't pay. I just don't think most Americans feel it. Most Americans are saying, hmm. Seems to me like we're in constant chaos, and this guy invites a lot of tawdry behavior that I don't even feel comfortable talking about with my kids. Well, it's also way, way, much in the past. They're bringing it up now. I think there are political and financial motivations Well, I think involved. that one of the reasons, though, we have to remember, the reason that this came up again is not because she didn't break the silence first. Right. It was the Wall Street Journal's reporting that, that reported on the payout from Michael Cohen. And that's what started this whole ball rolling. Because otherwise, we might never have heard about this. So it was sort of good old fashioned shoe leather reporting that gets us to the article that then she says, well, wait a second, I'm not going to be put in this position. And we have the back and forth. The one thing about the lawyer constantly saying, we're going to have more, we're going to have more. The news cycle changes so fast these days that when we when you tell us that you're going to have more, you better mean by three o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to lose interest. or We're going to think you don't have it. And I think the longer they try to drag this out, you have to ask I, I don't think that we got to the final answer last night, which is, what is the end game? Like, what do you want? And I can understand what Michael Cohen's wanting, that defamation suit, the NDA just, he thinks should be in place. So they want it just to stop. It's not going to stop. Yeah, no, so I don't see him how for defamation. Right. So now the end game is personally. impeachment. That's right. what this is about. This is when, when, when each road to impeachment ends up a dead end. Then the great thing about uh, Stormy Daniels is it sprouts another leg. Something else happens. Oh, there's more of this. There, I have pictures, something to come. So all this is, is it allows the media to breathe into a paper bag over Trump. Right. They want to hyperventilate over it. But yes, at the same time, it's like also a distraction to what we're supposed to be focusing on in the country about something that was a consensual relationship back years ago. I'm rapping. <laughs> 
some of our reflections on this weekend's March for Our Lives and Calls for a Revolution. We'll be right back.